Welcome to Twin Bridge Dairy Goats. We're glad you're here. It's about family, farm, and our girls. We're located in beautiful central Oklahoma where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Share our experiences, what we've learned, what we're still learning. It's about triumphs as well as failures. <laughs> they love me. It's not they the easiest so thing much. you can do. There are always challenges, but it's the best <laughs> life for us. I love we you, believe you should learn something every day. Or Follow start, us on our journey. There's always something going on at the farm. So come along. This is what happened today. <laughs> they think I'm gonna bring them something. Morning, friends. Oops, oops, I just am dropping things. I got it. Good morning, friends. What's that? Oh. I think I can help you. You get your chicken chores done and then you can come over and help me. Um, <laughs> good morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. A um, little on the nippy side. This morning we're sitting at 30 degrees at, uh, I think it's 745 actually. Since the time has changed by the clock, I'm coming out about 45 minutes late but my reasoning is, is the goats don't know the difference with the clock so they think I'm on time <clears throat> we thought we would shoot just a ooh that's turn you around and the beautiful sunrise this morning here in Oklahoma working hard this week we haven't done a uh full uh video on really the goats or progress or or anything we've just shot a few little things Myla she's over there rubbing the gate who's next in line to go to the birthing stall and show you guys the progress that we've made on our hay storage up there at the barn uh, Brian and Alec came out yesterday you know Alec has been on spring break this week and while he's been working for himself, he's also had some time to kind of help us a little bit. And that's what he did yesterday. But they made really good progress on that hay storage. And it's all roofed and dried in. And now it's just about putting up the walls around the, the back of it and uh, the south side. So that's exciting. But um, we are going to take a little bit of time today and get that... Uh, ready because I think we're going to separate Belle. She's the next one for the kidding stall and um, I think I'm going to add Jasmine to the pen with her. You guys know that Jasmine is also in kid confirmed with blood test and I actually bumped her the other day and there is a baby in there but I don't know when it's coming. <laughs> so I've just been monitoring her and watching and stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna flip you guys back around and we'll walk into the into the pen here and do our little checks. Everybody's a little chilly this morning. I know. This is our little Hope and Lincoln Buck boy. An absolutely gorgeous buckling. Oh, let's see if I can do this. What my intention is, is to open this gate. And no, you're not coming out. I, oh, you are so mean. That's part of my reason for separating right now is because Miss Mila thinks she's the boss of everybody. And uh, if somebody's hoarding, in her mind, they get bumped. And so that is why I'm going to uh, take Belle out of this pen because Miss Boss, see, she's getting on to everybody. This is mine. I'm in front. <laughs> My luck with being so bossy. But. <clears throat> oh. See, and. Miss Molly is limping again. I'm sorry, Molly. Oh, 
open this up and I will feed them in here this morning. Yes, I know. I know. This little boy is um, available. I have offered him, but nobody has snagged him up yet, which is a little surprising. Um, he's got beautiful confirmation, a very uh, nice top line. <clears throat> Let's talk about Molly there. Miss Molly, you guys know that we um, had Arisha's cash over here. And he uh, visited here for a week or so. And I actually saw him breed Molly. <clears throat> now, by my, by my calendar, 21 days is Monday. And so today is day 19, and generally that's when Molly, between 18 and 21 days, and so there's no signs of a heat cycle with her, dare I hope. I don't know. I don't know if I dare hope. <clears throat> Gracie was also bred, actually the day before Molly. And she's not running to the fence with Lincoln. So I'll be watching her today. Also, <clears throat> it is late in the year for the minis to be um, uh, having heat cycles, especially my herd. Some, some do have year long. It is a possibility. Mine typically do not. Oh, it's frozen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We cleaned up all the, put all the electric um, waterers away. And wouldn't you know it, we jinxed ourselves. Look at those cousins. So cute. They love each other. Good morning, Belle. Good morning, Belle. Wow. The kitties. Every day they loosen up a little bit more. Jasmine. Jasmine maybe is filling. Still looks super small, but not as empty as before. So that's a good sign right there. That is a good sign. And the next one would be Daisy. Daisy is due, I think, April 1st, actually. <laughs> And Daisy does have a little bit of an udder also. It's gonna be a beautiful day. You guys, um, if you've watched the videos, you know that I put Gabriella in the pen with Cash also. And I never saw any breedings with her uh, he chased her around a bit the full week and a half or two weeks he was here. But she never stood for him that I saw. And I know, you know, typically you leave your bucks in with your girls for three weeks to make sure they don't cycle again. But I, I don't really want kids in July. It's too hot here. We've done that before. Actually, Molly is a July kid. 
and it was a little rough. They get too hot, they have a hard time cooling down. For a new kid, it just worried me a little bit. Cammy, Cammy, that is not for you. That is not for you. But because of Molly's situation, because she didn't, hasn't taken, hasn't settled for me, I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and do it this one time and um, see if she will settle. <laughs> Everybody's cold. Everybody's cold. Let's go to the milk barn. My hands are starting to freeze, actually. And the poor babies over here are crying. Mulan, are you ready to be milked? Chloe and Louisiana, you are all beautiful, beautiful girls. Beautiful girls. Huh. Okay. You guys. I have been so thankful for this machine right here. I know I've said it in a few other videos that I love my Simple Pulse. And I really do love my Simple Pulse. This year I'm just milking one at a time, but I told Brian that I would love to set it up to get it to where I can do two at a time. This year, last year was my first year using the Simple Pulse and it was just a little too overwhelming for me to think about doing two goats at one time. But this year, that's different. I know what I'm doing. Kind of looking forward to doing that. Uh, as the girls come in to milk and I get them working in the milking routine, I will start uh, uh, milking two at a time. Brian, once he finishes the hay storage over there, I think he's going to go ahead and get my sink hooked up in here. We've already got pipe in the ground along this area where our electric is running. We, we at least put a water line in and it's stubbed up underneath the, the barn. And so this area right here is going to get cleaned up and uh, organized and I actually have a sink over there that I found at an estate sale uh, that I will be using out here. It, I don't have hot water, but I do have a microwave still. So if I needed hot water, I can warm that up and I will need that for, for my hoses and all of the attachments for the milk. Simple Pulse machine. But anyways, I got to get the girls in and get myself set up. And here they all are. Aww, Louisiana and Chloe like to debate. Two lands on the stand. And now we've moved to Louisiana. Look at the milk flow. Love it. Love it. You're next, Chloe. So now that I've taken her off the um, simple pulse, I'm going to finish her out into my straining cup. She is still nursing twins. She will give me most of it, but I don't force the issue either because she's still nursing. And at this point, we're getting plenty of milk to uh, do what we need to do with it and provide for my uh, buyer. So I'm good with that. The kitty is waiting her turn, but I've already given her a couple splashes. Um, now I'm going to 
put on some of my Twin Bridge Etter Butter, which is just a moisturizing um, cream that I make here. It has lavender and tea tree in it, tea tree oil, which are excellent for their udders. I don't do it every day because they are still nursing and uh, kids tend to uh, keep her moisturized. But uh, I do add it every couple of days or so. Once she uh, is not nursing, that will be a everyday thing. And there she goes. Super simple. She knows the routine. And that's, I do enjoy that about the goats. They like, what's it called? Repetition. Repetition, that's it. That's the word. And so once they get the pattern down and, and know what they're supposed to be doing, they do it. Except for Chloe. She <clears throat> likes to keep pulling. Don't pull, Chloe. Right here. And look at Chloe. Super happy with Chloe and that udder. Super happy with this udder. Whew, she is full today. We will give her a wipe down and get her up on the machine. Good antibacterial wipes. And a couple squirts into the milk pan to make sure no issues. I'm gonna see if she goes. Good job, Chloe. Good job, girl. Okay, so we're all done with milking. <laughs> and of course, these little these little guys are starving. Get your head out of there. Get your head out of there. Come on. Get your head out of there. There we go. The race is on. Oh, there. He found Mama. He found Mama. Everybody gets the first drinks after being put up for 12 hours. Tails a wagon. Tails a wagon. Just a little drink. That's all you needed. Just a little drink. Louisiana tends to let hers nurse a little bit longer, but then she's done too. Come on, you girls out of there. Come on, girls. You don't need to be in there. Come on. Come on. No need for you to be in here. Come on. Come on, Chloe. Out, out, out. Come on, Chloe. You don't need to be in here either. Go on. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Yes, we have named our buck boy that we are retaining. This is Twin Bridge, Jack of Hearts. <laughs> this is how Louisiana stops nursing. She's like, no, don't think so. You're done. You're done. And everybody else is going to enjoy the sun. And eat. Okay, so that's done in the milk room. 
And now it's time to feed these girls. And I have got all of my bowls down here in the oat pasture. So we are gonna walk them down here and feed them. And they will follow me. <laughs> With of course, Mila in the lead. Better watch where I'm going, almost tripped. And my three pregnant mamas at the end of the line. Come on, girls. Go to your bowls. Go to your bowls. Go to your bowls. And even the kids get a little nibble. Oop. And Molly. Look at that other udder on Bell. All right, while they're all eating, we will walk up here and take a look at the boys. Whew. My hands are just about frozen. It's so cold, I am so ready, so ready for spring. Isn't that how it, how it goes? In the fall, we're ready to slow down and winter. You know, not have so much to do, but then spring comes and we're ready to transition. I have not planted my uh, potatoes and onions yet. I've just held off. I actually was going to do that over this, this last week, but then I watched the weather and, you know, we're getting freezing temps. Good morning, Lincoln. Good morning, Lincoln. Woo, he smells. Still, still. Um, freezing temps, and so I held off doing that too. But anyways, they're gonna bombard me at the fence here, so I'm gonna have to shut you off, and I'll be right back. Wow. They'll just hang out and won't let me uh, dump it in the bowl, and then it goes splattered everywhere. I know that a lot of uh, farms don't give their bucks uh, grain and alfalfa and all, you know, all those things that their milk and does get or mamas get. But I do. I give them a little. It's got the uh, sweet feed and the oats and the sunflower seeds and the beet pulp and um, alfalfa pellets in my mix. And I have found that they do really well on it. I'm, um, of course, I don't overfeed it. It's a treat in the morning, and they do get a little bit of alfalfa in the evenings. And that has proven to be a good thing for us. And um, the they're healthy. They look good. And so I'm okay with that. Oh, the wind. Anyways, let's go over and check out what Brian's doing. Roofed. It is roofed. It is awesome. We are met ready for metal. We are going to bring Belle, Jasmine, and probably Daisy over here. And so we're gonna go ahead and put this panel up. 
because today we're not going to be home. Today is our little Emmy's second birthday. Second birthday. <laughs> so we're going to go see our baby girl. But before we do that, we're going to close up this area right here so we can uh, move move my expecting mamas over here and clean up this yard. Gonna be so nice. Looking forward to that. What you doing? Ready to get all my tools gathered up and... Go ahead and screw those panels to the uh, post, and that'll, that'll hold the back wall, and then we'll decide whether we're going to go. We have a little piece right over there against the fence to put that little... We'll have to, yeah, that little manhole there yeah. needs to be covered up. Okay. And, and so then it's just about me. General cleanup. Okay. Alrighty. Well, friends, that's what happened this morning. Yep. We'll get her done. You guys, thanks for watching. Chat later.